Let's open this up. Gosh, this is heavy. Come on. Oh, oh, this is the smell of a new Mac. This smells different. Did Apple change its smell? It's not starting. Oh, it's starting. Oh. oh, it's starting. Okay, I cannot wait to get this started. At to use English as the main language, press the return key. Dude, it talks now? Dude, that did not happen for my previous Mac. I, I promise you that. Okay, chill. An inch MacBook Pro, base gray, went for the 2.3 gigahertz 8 core 9th generation Intel Core i9 processor. I know that i9 processor previously had a lot of heating issues, but I went with this because I've heard so much about how much the heating system has improved, so I kind of trust that there will be less heating issues with this laptop. So far, I have not heard of any bad reviews about the heating system with this. I upgraded the memory to 64 gigabytes. When I heard of that, I was crazy and my dad was crazy about it. We've never seen a MacBook Pro with such high amount of RAM, so we went for it and upgraded the graphics card to 8GB of GDDR6 memory and I stayed with the 1TB storage space because I edit a lot of videos of Samsung T5 SSD so I don't need that much storage although 8TB of storage in a MacBook Pro that is crazy when I saw it I was so freaking excited with 8TB of SSD basically you're taking your studio with you that is pretty cool it added up to a total of 5.3k very very expensive this is a very expensive laptop it kind of pains me that this is that expensive but I feel like it is going to be worth it I don't really upgrade my Mac every single year but um I had to get this it's a long story, you guys can check it out. It has new physical keys for both the Touch ID as well as the Escape key. It was harder to reach the Escape key when it was on the Touch Bar. I previously had not much big complaints about the Touch Bar, but now when I actually use the Escape key, I definitely do feel like it is much better with the physical key. And now the Touch ID key it has a matte finish that is very similar to the rest of the keyboard. This keyboard definitely feels very much like the previous generation Caesar Mechanism keyboards. This baby has a six speaker sound system and we're gonna test it right now and compare it with the 15 inch. hear that there's more bass to this laptop. I mean obviously it has six speaker sound system as compared to that. I can't remember what that is. I can feel like there's a more surround system. I don't know if my speaker can actually capture how awesome this is but try putting on headphones and see the difference. I really wish you guys can be here with me to experience this and it's just really really different from that. This also has studio quality mics. You're supposed to be able to record audio much better with this mics. I saw the interview that Jonathan Morrison had with Phil Schiller and in the interview he used the inbuilt mics on this new 16 inch MacBook Pro and the sound quality was great. Well, we can test it out now. This is the MacBook Pro 16 inch and we are testing the inbuilt microphone in the 16 inch MacBook Pro. How do you find this? Is this good? Is this bad? Let me know what you think. You might test one, two, three. This is the 15 inch MacBook Pro. I cannot remember which year this was bought in, maybe 2017. Do you like how it sounds like? Is there a difference? I will not be able to tell until I edit this later. Comment in the comment section below and let me know. Um, I look forward to reading all your comments. I really, really do read them. So let me know, okay? Yep, that's all. Thank you. This features a larger battery of 100 watts hour. With that, you actually get an hour more of 
battery life and even though it doesn't really matter to me because I do a lot of heavy processing and I usually have my MacBook Pro plugged in but I think that this would matter to people who bring their MacBook Pro out a lot and who do some light things on their MacBook Pro Okay, I'm gonna lift it up Okay, I don't want to drop it so... Ooh, okay this is the 15 inch MacBook Pro. This is the 16 inch MacBook Pro. I'm not sure if I'm like I'm weaker on my left arm. This feels harder to hold up with one hand as compared to this. This is supposed to be 200 grams heavier. Gosh, I need to work out more. If I drop this, my mom will kill me. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared it will drop. Ooh, okay. 16 inch MacBook Pro, which is on my left, is definitely bigger, slightly taller than the 15 inch. Oh gosh, yeah, you can really tell the screen size comparison. The 16 inch definitely has more screen estate, obviously, and you can definitely feel it when you're using the 16 inch MacBook Pro. Like many other YouTubers, I do agree that this is sort of like a fix of the previous generation 15 inch MacBook Pros. They fixed the keyboard, they gave us bigger screen display, and even though it's slightly heavier, you don't really feel it that much. Like, I get used to it. And I think it would be a worthy upgrade if you have a 2016 MacBook Pro or earlier. Because you would really appreciate the bigger screen design and the better keyboards. I know that a lot of people hated the previous keyboard and loved the new keyboards on this 16 inch. I really did not have any big problems with the previous one. They say that this keyboard has more key travel space. I have no idea what that means. It does still feel really nice under my touch. I like it, but I think I have to get used to it once again. I do intend to do a deeper review about this MacBook Pro after maybe a month of using it. So let me know what kind of things you want me to keep an eye on and to test out. Hey guys, so my luck with Apple recently has been just you, just... you just can't see the end, it just keeps going down. As you guys may have noticed, as I was typing on my 16 inch, nothing was showing on the display. So yeah, my 16 inch crashed. <laughs> After a day of use, the fans start up really quickly even with light browsing and it heats up like it gets hot on my laps and that was supposed to be a problem that was eradicated in this machine, but it is back. So I turned it off at about 10 p.m. after like the whole day of using it. I wanted to let the machine cool down. I thought that you know when I wake up it would be better. And so because of jet lag, I got up at 2 a.m. and guess what? It doesn't even start up. And like here's a video for you guys to see. Okay, I honestly don't know how to feel about this because I've turned it on and off just doesn't work. Nope, doesn't work. There was nothing on display, but it just made out this hissing sound when I was typing on it and you know, I got scared. The next day I went out to the Apple store and apparently no one in the Apple store could do anything. So I called Apple while I was in the Apple store and I asked for a replacement and I asked to expedite the delivery process because I hope that he would, you know, know that this is a new Mac and that he would make it quicker. I know it's a customized Mac, so it will usually take longer. It's been three days now and I'm still without my new Mac. I'm just so disappointed that, you know, they could have at least loaned me a computer or, you know, like have some kind of like loan service. Not everyone has a backup Mac or a backup computer to work on, so. <sighs> So right now, I'm actually surviving on my mom's MacBook Pro to edit and film everything. So thank you, mom. As an Apple fan, I am kind of sad and disappointed. <sighs> but maybe this is just a one-time thing. And the thing is, I feel like I am the only one who got the faulty Mac. Because I scoured the internet, I searched for faulty 16-inch MacBook Pros, but no one reported anything. Am I unlucky or unlucky? Very unlucky. <laughs> anyway guys, feel free to follow me on Instagram and Twitter for live updates about the new Mac. Um, I will definitely post on that. And 
let me know what you think of this video i really expected to bring you guys like better news with this but i guess not if you enjoyed this or you found this helpful leave me a thumbs up make sure you subscribe for more videos like this stay minty and cherry i'll see you guys in the next one and really have a good day i am trying to have a good day at least i'm a mac that i can work on right now <laughs> okay this is just super lovable my luck